Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inusor Education. Um, I would like to expand uh, our um, menu of different prisms towards um, basically a general um, uh, prism. General in terms of, now we were talking about prism with um, rectangle or uh, parallelogram as a base, that was parallelepiped. We were talking about triangular prisms with a triangle as, as a base. Well, obviously we can talk about polygonal uh, prisms when a polygon of different number of uh, vertices is a directrice of this prism. So, just for example, we can consider uh, hexagonal prism. So that would be the picture of the hexagonal prism. Something like this. All right, looks like hexagonal prism. Hexagonal because there is a hexagon uh, as, uh, as a base, or it can be pentagonal or I don't know, quintagonal, <laughs> whatever it is. So, um, most importantly is the following. The directress is a flat polygon of certain number of vertices. And, um, all the side edges are obviously parallel to uh, some line which basically makes the prism. Uh, remember, um, we, have a, uh, we have the concept of a cylindrical surface when there is a, uh, one line and, and there is a directress, another line, and we basically move this, um, this line in such a way that it slides through all the points of of the directors making a uh, cylindrical surface and then in case we have this directors as a as a polygon and then we cut another plane so this is the base where the directors is and then somewhere else there is a parallel uh, plate parallel plane uh, to the base so they basically make the uh, the object called um, the prism. All right, so what's important about polygonal prisms? Well, first of all, this is important. So, as usually, I have the same formula for their volume, which is area of the base times the altitude. Now, how can I prove it? Actually, this is much much easier uh, after we have already learned that the similar formula exists for triangular prism. Because what I can do is I can just divide it into triangular prisms like this. For instance, this is A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so I will connect one particular vertex with all others here and correspondingly here. So in this case, I have cut my um, hexagonal prism into one, two, three, four triangular prism. One is A, B, C, A prime, B prime, C prime. Another is A, C, D, A prime, C prime, D prime. So these are vertical planes which cut my uh, hexagonal prism into triangular. And obviously, they all have the same uh, altitude. Now, the volume of the entire uh, hexagonal uh, prism is equal to sum of these four triangular ones. And uh, the 
um, area of the hexagon is equal to sum of these areas of these bases. So basically you have like V1 is equal to S1 times H, V2 is equal to S2 times H, V3 times H, and V4 is equal to S4 times H. Where 1, 2, 3, 4 are 1, 2, 3, 4 triangular prisms. So if I will add them up, I will have the total volume here, and here I can factor out H, and I will have a total base uh, area times H. So the formula is still the same. What else is interesting about um, these uh, polygonal prisms? Well, um, there is a uh, Euler's formula about the number of vertices, um, uh, edges, and faces. Now, this formula is not only valid for prisms, but for any kind of polyhedron. Um, but in this case, let's just check it out for the prism. So let's assume we have some kind of an n-sided or um, yeah, n-sided polygon as a base. Now, how many different, uh, let's say, faces we have? Number of faces. Well, if I have n sides of the polygon, I have n side faces plus two bases, so that gives me n plus two. Now, how many edges do I have? Well, I have n edges here, n edges here, and n side edges, right? So it's 3n. And how many vertices we have? I have n vertices here, and n vertices here, so it's 2n. And notice that f plus v minus e equals 2. And this is the Euler's formula. For any polyhedron, not only for prism, but for any, it can be whatever, some non-necessarily prismatic kind of a um, polyhedron. Uh, the formula is true. So I'm not talking about any, I'm talking about the n-sided uh, polygonal prism, and for polygonal prism, this formula is true, as we see. All right, so that's basically the only interesting aspects of um, polygonal prisms, the volume and this correspondence between the number of faces, edges, and uh, uh, faces, edges, and vertices. All right. So this is an interesting formula, actually. If you will start checking this formula for any kind of a um, object geometrical, just let me illustrate it for non-prismatic kind of object. Let's talk about pyramid, for instance. If you have a triangular pyramid, So we have a triangle as a base, and we have uh, the top vertex. So how many vertices we have? Four, right? One, two, three, four. How many edges do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many faces do we have? One, two, three, and four. F, four plus V4 minus E6 again 2. So no matter what exactly you, um, you, you put as, as your figure with vertices, faces and, uh, and edges, the formula is true. We will check it again for any pyramid and obviously it will hold. Um, well, basically, that's it for today. That's all I wanted to talk about um, for polygonal uh, prisms. Now, as usually, you know that this course is presented on unizor.com, and I usually recommend you to watch the lecture from this site because 
the site has comments and uh, that's very important. All right, that's it. Thank you very much and good luck.